Well, good afternoon and welcome once again to Ed's Orchids. And now we're at the uh, RHS Garden Centre in Harrogate. It's Harlow Car Garden Centre, that's what it is. And there's a bit of an orchid exhibition on here, not much of one, but it's where the judges come and uh, pick the plants uh, that, that get honours for the year. It's a big, big place this, and I'll just pan round and show you. That's where it says it's the orchid show. That's where all the judging's going on, up in that room there. And there's only one dealer, and that's Burnham Nurseries, which is there. We'll have a go in and have a look at the plants. But this is a magnificent expanse of green. How they all keep it, I've no idea. It's absolutely beautiful. See, we've got a strange uh, floral arrangement here. I don't know what it represents, but... Uh, that's a bit strange to me. Here's Burnham Nurseries doing a, a little bit of trade. Can't be doing much because there's not that many people here. But he's put up a big stand and he must have travelled over 300 miles to be here. But he comes every year. We'll just go inside and have a look at uh, a few orchids that are on uh, exhibition. And uh, there's the North of England Orchid Society, very few members come. And uh, the Harrogate Orchid Society, which we're in conjunction with. So we'll just have a look at a few plants that they have on the uh, show there. Right, we'll go in the hallway. There's just two stands there. There's a lot of people talking, so we won't say much. I'll just show you the plants. Now this is the uh, Harrogate stand and the one in show is an Epidendrum Capricorn. Magnificent plant, huge, beautiful pink flowers. <laughs> and down at the bottom here we've got some, some form of cat here, absolutely beautiful. There's a label here, but uh, it's facing the wrong way around. And the label says, it's not an Oncidium, surely, could be. Oncidium, Acarachnis or something, no idea. Like us. Buffier Pedlum Longiflorum. There's a Zygo Pedlum here, Jumping Jack. A Neo Fenetia Falcata. Nice uh, failing up to see you. Yeah. Yeah. pride of uh, pride of venue or somebody like that. And we've got another nice Buffy Pedalum here. Buffy Pedalum Julius. Nice big plant. <laughs> Very tall. <laughs> Nearly up to the ceiling. Lovely condition, that plant. Catlia Mary Green. So we get a nice picture of that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then a Colmenara Catalanthi. With one spike to open yet. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Agreden Magdal Magdalenae. 
Now, I used to have a huge one of these, absolutely huge. You couldn't even pick it up. And it must have been 100 years old. And it flowered like mad. I'm talking about 10 years ago or something like that. Then suddenly it just died off. Another party of Pedal and Price stems. Sorry, I'm so do you have any to read now. Can't read that one, but I'll show you the flowers. This is a nice plant, Dendronium palmatejima. Absolutely beautiful. One mass of flowers. It's rubbish. It's I'll try and go around as slowly as I can. Another nice one here. I'll get round to the name in a minute. Oh, it's a brass of all at Nadosa. Yeah, so I'll take it. Yeah, that's just around the fair now. There's a very, very nice band yeah. up here, yeah. big plant. Vanders Soevis. And then we'll go the other way around now, see what we've got. Prosecchia Acrasia Lutroniopsis Odd Divergence or something. Frank Mepedium PCI Paphia Pedlum Zapatella or La Veren. Never heard of that one. But beautiful plant. French of Prosecchi is here again. Just a couple of small puffy pedals. I'll sit on the Oh, I see. Pathia Pedlum, Pink Panther. 
I will just finish this off with another Phragmopedium, Phragmopedium Portilla. And it's just coming up with another spike there. And it's a lovely plant. And it was like he fell off a cliff. But he then was straight down and a sudden drop in the ground. Then we'll move over to the north of England and see what goes on there. Neophonetia again. Uh, nice dendrobium there. <laughs> and Angulia. Most of them are equal to the older people. Certainly are. Most of them 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 are. Most of and it's simply a... Uh, <laughs> a lot of... But as I say, that's why we do that, because there's quite a few societies in that bit. You know, put on the floral displays. So that's why Ellen does the... You know, because I won't say it. And then there's a... Eulophia... Eulophia... Eulogloxa. Sorry if I get the names wrong, but uh, I haven't got my glasses on. This is very nice. Looks like a Renantara. It's got to be a Renantara. Renantara Stormy Eye. Now oh, it is a strange one. <laughs> Funny little plant. Very, very small plant. But look at the petals on it. And it's a puffy pedlum. Would you believe? Sandrianum. Flowering at that size. It's unbelievable. The next one is a Brassia Tessa. Followed by Macklemoriara, Bill Macklemore. Oh, yeah. It's a new one. We can get a better picture of the flower around here. Looks like there's a bit of Digbayani in that one. Here's an all popular one. Lots of all at Jiminy Cricket. The Catacetum into Jerryman. He's a nice little Lycaster.
Dendrobium by Mariana. Now that one is. I don't know. Can't read the label. Pomerica. Pomerica, or it used to be an encyclia. Brassavolii. Alright. Here you learn something every day, don't you? Bulbophyllum lobbyi. You can always tell the bulbophyllums because if you just touch this, it wags up and down. Bulbophyllum. Cochianum. Yeah, 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 I'll yeah, just get the name for this one at the bottom. Phagmopedium, no, Paphiopedalum, Julius. Here's another uh, Jiminy Cricket. Bretonia lavender kiss. Now we're coming to the end now. We just got a little tolumnia here. And then the old finesse here again. So we'll leave it at that and uh, get some more pictures, pictures from the gardens. Well, I've just walked outside for a minute. Uh, she was going inside to, uh, she's having a plant judged by the RA, RHS again, that's why it wasn't on the stand. And uh, you can see how far these uh, gardens go. And that's only about halfway down to those trees. It stretches all the way up. And if it stops, uh, it starts to rain, we'll not be getting down there. You can see there's some umbrellas up down there. Beautiful place to be. Lovely, quiet and peaceful. That building you can see just sticking out there is the restaurant. There's a queue a mile long outside so uh, and you can't book any tables. So we won't be going in there. Now this is the full RHS committee where they give all the awards and judge all the plants and I'm allowed in. Providing I put it on YouTube. All the people. <laughs> there are the plants that are being judged. I think I'll just nip over there and uh, have a look at them. One is Sheila's, and I don't know who the other one is, but I think it's uh, Frank Nathaniel from Bolton.
Sheila, the presenter with an award. That's okay, that's it. Yeah. Do you want me just to hold that? You are going to let it. Hang on, no, now you've got your thing over nice and wide. Now you've got to look at that. It's grown since then. Oh, definitely. Do you think you take flowers? I'm not very good at mine either. Just in case. How about your poor husband over there? You're not married. If you could move a little bit, otherwise you're going to have this gap. Is that better? That's pretty good. Is that better? Do you want to move the front slightly that way? Um, She's showing me my belief here. <laughs> oh. Are you sure you're not pulling the fingers? I'm not, I'm not holding the fingers. Both of us are holding the glasses, not a problem. Okay. Are we, are we all right? Yeah, you okay? That's yeah, good. The wind plant. You have seen it before. Absolutely beautiful. And this is the other one for Judge. And it is a home ball TI. Yeah, it has a big YouTube following. And it's Well, you've seen Sheila presenting with her, uh, her award, so we're just going to have a walk around the. Uh, we've got the uh, RH Garden Centre now. Well, we'll continue, just have a look round here. Oh, immaculate weekend. Absolutely immaculate. Nice water features here. The stream running right down the middle of that. Plenty of beautiful lawns. Plenty and plenty of walks. The places to sit if it's raining. It's right down here. It goes right through the centre almost. And uh, everything's beautiful. Some gorgeous trees. And we're just heading down towards a place where we might be able to get something to eat. So we'll follow this path around and hope we can find it. Ah, it looks like we've found a place to, uh, to eat. There's a few people sat out there. And I bet when we go around the corner, this will be Betty's tea room. Famous, no, uh, it's a famous place in Harrogate, Betty's. And well, we've just had a sandwich and a cup of coffee and we're still on the walks. And we've walked for miles and we're way up here now. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful trees. Beautiful lawns. Some green houses there in the distance. A nice stone here. You can read that. I can just move the flowers away. Lovely little verses. Yep. I hope you've all read that one. Very, very nice. This is nice, you can just hear the trickle of water up there. And all this planting down by the side, absolutely lovely. She was just taking a side step because she don't want to be on again. That's a massive plant there. Huh? 